Good morning. Good morning, everybody. All right. So today, today's going to be an interesting day and actually kind of exciting. So I think I mentioned in the last video that I am good and ready to start running E85. So I got myself five gallons worth of E85 right here. And uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take the clips up to Angela's, ah, Angela's Crest real quick because I'm only 20 minutes away from there. So it's about 12 miles there. And I'll drive up just a little bit through the canyon and then I'll circle back, come back home. And it should be low enough. And then I'll put the E85 in and then uh, try to give her a start. So I just wanted to, you know, make things smooth. And I know it's supposed to work and it's supposed to be fine, but I always take precautions where it's like, never assume everything's gonna be perfectly smooth, <laughs> even if it was for somebody else. That's just what I've learned with working on this car. I'm gonna warm up the car and then we're gonna get heading up to the canyon.
So now we got the gas in. Now we're about to go into link and change the fuel ratio calculation so that it can give me the proper air fuel ratio for E85. Oh, and then we'll give her a start. Oh, Lambuda. Now, disclaimer here, I don't know what I'm doing with Link. I don't have any experience or anything like that. But I've been consulting with a tuner, as I said in previous videos, through Sean. And he's been guiding me along the way, letting me know if uh, I need to do something differently. Or, you know, he's just been a real help. Um, and anything that I do or have done in Link so far, as far as setting up the injectors, um, setting the two-step, which I haven't showed y'all yet. Um, and I forget what else we did. Oh, calibrating or doing whatever we need to do to make sure that the wideband works properly. All of that, as well as what I'm about to do right now, the tuner, um, you know, told me what to do, gave me guidance and direction. So, I'm just saying, if you're gonna do some shit like this on your own, you know, make sure you do your research to make sure you don't know what you're doing because the last thing you want to do is do some shit and then your car ain't running right and then you're trying to fix it. So let's do the shot. Hit link. Bro, that five gallons didn't add nothing. Why should barely moving? <laughs> Alright, she's connected. There we go. configure. We're gonna go to fuel. And we're gonna go to calculate. So right here, 14.7, that's stock or pump gas, if you will. So all I have to do is change it to 9.8. And we'll hit calculate. And then use. And then save all to ECU. Okay, and now we can give her a start. All right, moment of truth. Okay, she started. She's idling fine. Now, as far as the AFR gauge, I don't know if I should be getting a different reading or if it should be the same. I'll also text the tuner to see if I should be seeing anything different on the AFR gauge. Otherwise, it's idling smooth. Um, and my gas gauge is almost at the halfway, so I got more E85 than I do pump, I think for sure, but we'll see. The tuner told me that I should still be seeing the same readings as far as the AFR gauge <clears throat> because it's uh, running off of the fuel so it should it, it won't change even though you're running E85 and I changed you, you know the ratio thing to 9.8 or whatever still will read around 14.6 14.7 or whatever um, <clears throat> I asked him if I should notice a difference even without a tune he said you might feel uh, a little better uh, spool or slightly smoother power but not really so not expecting to notice anything big here but now I think we're good to go I even asked him about my blow-off valve because I have a crushed 1G blow-off valve and uh, my goal is just like 300 horsepower wheel horsepower hoping you know I know uh, the car has 190,000 miles on it, so it might not get to 300, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, so the 1G BOV is, is good for up to 350, a crushed one, uh, 350 wheel horsepower, so I'm good. So really, once I drive the car right now, I'm about to go to a little, do a little video shoot, and just as long as she drives good, then I will... I guess I can try and schedule a tune. It's getting exciting. That is pretty.
pretty much it until next time guys in the next video hopefully the car